surgery. Warts grow in an encapsulation. Excuse me. Dr. Dr. Tobro is it? Listen. What made you want to mess with feet? You know? It's like out of all the things you could have done surgery on, you know, massaged or, you know, burned or whatever, you decide for it to be feet. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody got to do it, right? But why did it have to be you? You get what I'm saying? What made you want to do that? Uh-uh. Y'all know that's how they make wine? You know they make wine by people stepping on it. Now, I know y'all going to clown me because I'm sure some other things to do to make wine. But imagine somebody with a wart making your wine. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Six. Annie, out of all the things that I could have reacted to. Because I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? You got to be grateful. But out of everything, this. Okay. Oh, damn. Tatiana, what I call her, she a bust down. Yeah, yeah my homie just smashed, scoring touchdowns. Touch she got some good cat, nigga, we could go yeah, rounds. Take me in, shit, I kinda want some more now. Yeah. Uh, bust down, Tatiana, bitch, nasty. I used to like a sweet and look class. Uh. What's up, y'all? I need y'all to make sure you go click the link in the description down below to tune in to a and &E YouTube channel on a and &E Tuesday nights for all new episodes from Tobro. That's right, Tobro. It was kinda nasty, but... Make sure you go tune in, man. The link will be in the description down below. Let's get to this video, shall we? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, we're doing something uh, really weird. So, this video is sponsored by <clears throat> A&E Network, the actual TV network. And, you know, we're doing a collaboration today. And... What they want me to react to is Tobro. Uh, he's actually a guy who, he's a doctor who fix toes. Yeah. So anything involving feet, he does. Now, if you um, have a weak stomach, don't watch this video. Uh, I, I could care less for feet. You know what I'm saying? I really could. However, I just felt like this would be a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Something different. And you know I'm going to make anything dope. Any video I make is going to be dope. So we're about to attempt <laughs> to go ahead and react to this. Um, you know, a and &E, I could have reacted to R. Kelly or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if he was on the network. But all I'm saying is, toes, man. You know what I'm saying? Toes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Pray for me. Let's get it. Toe curl. This program contains toe curling material. Viewer's discretion is advised. Uh, Jamie. Amazing. My name's Jamie, and I have uh, nasty feet. A what? A plandra fort. What is that? It's, yeah, it's big. It's like about that big. Yeah, right on the ball of my foot. When it started, it was not very big, about the size of a pea. But it started to spread. Plantar it's warts can be easily spread know, by I walking know. barefoot. I don't know how much bigger it will get or it can get. Hell no. Family, they'll mention joking and be like, oh, we're going to get a word from you or like get that away from me and stuff like that. I think they're joking anyway. I hope they're They're not joking. No, nobody want to be near no warts, especially don't nobody want a wart on their foot. Ah, I feel like this video is about to be disgusting. Okay. So I just figured it's time to have it taken care of. Hi, guys. Hey. I had to put us in a doctor's office, you know what I'm saying, just to... To feel the vibe, cause Jesus. How's it going? Good. So what brings you in today? Uh, I believe a wart on my foot. And how long have you had it? Like 10 years. That's a long time. Yeah, that's a really long time. Have you done anything? Like, he looks like he's about 35 maybe. So he probably got it at like 25. You know at 25, a lot of people be like, man, fuck that, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? What is going to do? You know, like. 
But instead, <clears throat> you let a huge wart grow in your foot. Well, and get bigger. I used, like over the counter wart remover, and it seemed to be after that is when it really started spreading. It oh, seems over like he the tried counter. The treatment himself, which made it worse. So let's see how this guy's doing. This can sometimes happen when the topical treatment damages the skin, but doesn't kill the wart. This allows the virus to spread in the damaged tissue. Oh, they're not going to show us? That's a big one. I mean, not that I want to see it anyway, but it's like, you know. Don't, you know, don't tease me. Show me. Top five ways to treat a wart. Okay. Number five, salicylic acid. Ew. I ain't going to lie. My daddy has some ugly feet. Oh. God, you have no idea. <laughs> but he doesn't have any warts. Warts only live on the top layer of skin. Salicylic acid brings more moisture into the skin, making it easier to scrape off. Number four, liquid nitrogen. Ugh. By freezing the top layer of skin, we are damaging the warty tissue, allowing it to just fall off. Number three, laser treatment. Mm. The laser kills the blood vessels that are feeding the wart. In a few weeks, it turns into a scat and just falls off. Number two, needling. Uh. The body doesn't know the wart's living on the top layer of skin. <laughs> With needling, we push the virus into the bloodstream, creating an immune response. And in a few months, the body takes care of the wart all by itself. And number one, surgery. Warts grow in an encapsulation. Excuse me, Dr. Dr. Tobro, is it? Listen. What made you want to mess with feet? You know? It's like, out of all the things you could have done surgery on, you know, massaged or, you know, burned or whatever, you decide for it to be feet. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody got to do it, right? But why did it have to be you? You get what I'm saying? What made you want to do that? ...tissue just like a pellet. And with one small incision, we scoop out the wart in one nice piece, and bye-bye wart. One you nice piece, like, guests. There's many different treatments. So if you find yourself with the wart, find yourself a professional. Ah. Uh-uh. Y'all know that's how they make wine? You know they make wine by people stepping on it. Now, I know y'all gonna clown me because I'm sure some other things to do to make wine. But imagine. Somebody with a wart making your wine. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> okay. So let's see how this guy's doing. <sighs> e. That's not a baby wart. You were joking around. I wasn't lying. You brought me a good one today. Yep. That is not cute. <laughs> Jamie doesn't only have a wart, he has a mosaic wart. It's basically a bunch of little warts put together. Mm, Tons, mm. I don't know, 20, 30, 40 warts are in this one. Oh my God. So we got the mother load, and we have all its little babies. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Any out of all the things that I could have reacted to. Because I'm grateful, you know what I'm saying? You got to be grateful. But out of everything, this. And nine, one on the big toe. I would suggest that we could use a laser on the smaller spots. He's just like, me, when I see really yeah, thick, yeah. big warts that have been around, you know, 10 I years. I can't even eat today. Sometimes the best thing to do is be a little bit more aggressive to have our best shot getting rid of it. The best case scenario for him is to do a surgical procedure to get the bulk of this mosaic wart out. I'm, just, I'm ready Sorry. to get rid of it. Yeah, so you want to go full guns blazing. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, no problem. Instead of me like giving he just excited to, to mess with this man areas, toe. There's something that I do called a regional block. I can do another injection on the side of your foot that numbs a bigger nerve that gives a feeling to the whole bottom of your foot. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the posterior tibial nerve. It runs right beside the, the artery. So I'm going to feel for your pulse. So what I'm doing is marking where the artery... I wonder, like for real, I wonder what made him want to, you know, deal with feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, what made you want to do this? Dr. Tobro, you know, you got to watch this reaction because obviously I ain't even ain't just telling me to react to your stuff without you knowing that I'm reacting to it. You get what I'm saying? 
Can you let me know why you do this? You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go right beside that. You just relax, okay? Yeah. Ooh, sure. that needle is so long. Ah. Around his mosaic board, we're going to apply a laser treatment. Okay. Ooh. The laser is going to damage the blood supply to these smaller wards. Feels like a bee sting normally. The laser catarizes the blood vessels by burning them. Another chair, so we'll see how well that overall block is. Yeah. <laughs> and then once that's finished, then we can tackle the big boy. He's so happy about okay. this. Glasses on. Okay, ready, Jamie? Ready. Ah. Anything? Nothing. Oh, you are so numb. <laughs> Often, when someone comes in with one big solitary wart, I'll just scoop it out and be done with it. But since we'll already be I'll causing just a scoop lot of it out to Jamie's foot by cutting out that huge monster mosaic ward, I don't want to create nine other little craters around his foot. You're doing really well, what he didn't say is if warts could grow back. See, now I need to be educated. You know what I'm saying? Do, do they grow back? You know? Is that a thing? Like, I get this surgically removed and then you, you know, it come back? You know what I'm saying? I would like to know. Because it might impede his ability to walk afterwards. So the mm. laser is the perfect treatment for these little guys. So does the laser only work on spots where it actually is affected? Yes. This frequency of light is working on pigment. So if you use that for normal tissue, because there's not those little warty black dots, there's real no reaction. All finished. Awesome. So we're going to get rid of the big one. All right. It so don't even look like the other ones are gone. Blood flow to the foot. I mean, but obviously I'm not the doctor. He know what he's doing. <laughs> to go to the scalpel. Oh. So I'm just going to scrape as much of this dead skin off so it's a little bit easier for me to do mm. uh, knee. Dr. Tobro. Out of everything I could have done. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a little nervous. Um. Ah, okay. Now we can really see why they call it a mosaic wart. It's just like a big cluster. You want to take a quick look? Yeah, we'll take a quick look. Like he ain't even want to look at it. Looks Disgusting. like a colony of little eggs. Eggs. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good to have that going. <laughs> yeah, so it's very different than a typical wart because of that mosaic appearance. That's pretty, uh, pretty early. This is a little graphic. You know what I'm saying? It's a little a lot of graphic, okay? That's disgusting. You have no That's idea. Scraping that top layer of the ward off. You don't like my DJ scratching? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it, it sounds disgusting. <laughs> so At least that part. A lot better. We're getting there. It's amazing. It's really not that deep, though. You can actually see your skin lines. Almost there. I don't like how this one's bleeding a lot, though. I don't know why the tourniquet's not working properly, but with too much blood, I can't see if I've gotten rid of all the warp particles. It does feel like the blood's going back into my foot. It does, and it is bleeding back. I can see it. Ooh. Mm -mm. For some reason, the tourniquet's not folded on too well with you. So what I'm going to do is just readjust the, the tourniquet. What is he saying? Normally, we like to put it just above the ankle bone to not put too much stress, but for you, it's not holding it. I think it's just the meat you got. Those are nice looking casts, man. Do you feel this one being much tighter? Turn Turnics have been used for thousands of years going back to ancient Roman battlefields. Okay, we'll put the foot down. Still scratching away on my turntables. We're at the stage where I'm just making sure I haven't left anything behind. This is the most important part, though. It up. Ugh. Your wart was not deep. It was just really thick and built up on top. We literally just removed the top layer of skin. That's all clean. I'm happy. Everything looks. I know he happy to get rid of that. Electricity and then the acid. Okay. If you got a wart on your foot, you better get rid of it right now. I ain't got time. There we go. It smells good. It smells like bird skin. Oh my god. <laughs> like bad barbecue. Bad barbecue. Really bad barbecue. <laughs> Disgusting barbecue, bro. Ooh. So I'm going to apply a little bit of acid. 
acid? It looks crazy. It's literally like we just skimmed the top layer off. But yeah. why acid? And a couple Ooh. of days people are walking around with this, especially yours being so superficial, really good for you. I am sending Jamie home with everything he needs to keep this dressing. Yo, room. I know that pain after after he got it, you know what I'm saying? After the medicine wore down or the, the numbness or whatever. I know that was, oh, I know that hurt so bad. In a bad. few weeks, that big patch that we cut out would be completely healed with new skin. Look at that beautiful mosaic. I'm glad that I did it, and I do wish that I would have done it a lot earlier. Yeah. Can't feel anything. <laughs> Is it in there? It's in there. All good. Thank you. You're welcome. You can't feel it. How can he walk on it? So Jamie's here for his booking. All right. It's nice to actually get out and be active again and... Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. Um, so you can kind of see right here where he cut the majority of the warts out. Um, oh, yeah, and Canada. All the ones that he lasered. I mean, it, it still looks kind of gross now, but once that's all healed up, it's going to look way better. It's definitely a nice feeling. To it don't that hurt anymore? Gone, I ain't going to lie. When I went to the prom, and I know I'm telling this at the end, but when I went to the prom, I was getting it in. You know what I'm saying? I was... Uh, I was feminine, you know what I'm saying? So I was dancing and stuff. And um, child danced so hard that the bottom of my big toe skin came off. So I was playing basketball at the time. So, you know, I needed, I took off my shoes is why it happened. So I was dancing on a wooden floor. And how I didn't know that my toe was scraping is crazy, but the skin was gone, bro. Not like my whole big toe, but enough of it came off. To where I needed some extra skin. Like, not extra skin from, obviously, a human. But, like, the lady that um, our uh, basketball coordinator, uh, the first aid lady, she put, like, some stuff that felt like extra skin on my toe so I could play basketball. It was ridiculous. But, yeah. yeah. Disgusting. People always oh think that they're going to get a work because they see that you have one. So, not to deal with that anymore. That's going to be good. Yeah, no, I'm just ready to get back to normal life again. Facts. Well, that was disgusting. Um, you know, glad that we could uh, get that done, you know. Mm -hmm. Andy, I don't know if y'all, you know, work with <clears throat> CBN, I think. Um, the R. Kelly thing. But anything that's other than this, can we do that the next time? Like feet, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, it was a bit much. But uh, not really. Thank y'all for the for the video idea. It was something new, you know what I'm saying? I never done it before, and the collaboration, man. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next video. Peace out. I cut my TV off.